The question is, you know, is the monsters hiding in those containers? Look at that. Just appeared out of nowhere. And there's now two of them. So I reckon there's uh, monsters going to be unleashed in Blackpool very, very soon. And welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're starting off in Bisbon and we're going to sort of head in towards town along the, uh, the seafront line. And the reason we're not starting off normally, we start off around sort of town area, is because I had a bit of a shock, to be fair. Um, the garbage rung up, the car went up, and it, was, it wasn't very well. So, uh, yeah, apparently the water pump and the, the housing has cracked, as well as a couple of little tiny bits. We had a bill for £1,800, yeah, £1,800 to get the car sorted. That is crazy. So we haven't got the car today, so we're going to do a bit of a walking, but hopefully we'll see a bit more on the way towards uh, the town centre area. So let me know in the comments if you ever had a bill for £1,800 and what did you do? Did you fork it up or did you scrap the car? I mean, it depends what the car value is worth, but yeah, £1,800. Let me know if you ever had a bill for that amount. But until then, let's get right into the video and uh, come and join me on this uh, bit of a walk around. Northgate and this uh, it sort of runs parallel to North Shore Golf Club and uh, yeah I thought I'd uh, just bring a couple of different streets um, for a, a change of you know sort of Blackpool town and, and things I mean, we will visit the town but yeah this is Northgate you can see some of the uh, houses yeah they look amazing really and they've got a nice little view over the uh, over the golf course and this is um, in Bisbon. So uh, let me know if you ever walked or ventured up uh, this side of Blackpool, Bisbon, shall I say? So yeah, it's uh, something a little bit, a little bit different. But yeah, we're gonna head towards the uh, the promenade. So directly in front, we've got Bisbon United Reformed Church, and you can see there's a lot of work going on with that with the, uh, the roof that had a brand new roof uh, in recent months so you'll see some uh, work going on and that's uh, steeps in history as well that church i'll put a bit of a link in the description if you want a little bit of info for information shall i say in regards to that one but that's a uh, sort of steeped in history and this is cavendish road and uh, there was a there's a house just on the corner there um i'll just see if i can get the uh, the street name it so it's a uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Ed Vale Avenue, I think that's called. Uh, so many little streets you uh, you forget about. Yeah, so Ed Vale Avenue, and that one, like I said, just on the corner, there was a huge, huge fire, and it burned basically the whole of the house down, and it was just left dormant for many, many years. Um, uh, whether the, the you know the the owner didn't have insurance or, or what the script was. That was left dormant for years, and you can see now that has been uh, completely redone into uh, I think it's off three flats. And uh, yeah, doesn't that look uh, that looks nice and smart now? But yeah, that was left dormant for uh, for years. That one. So as we uh, approach the uh, the promenade, you can see there's a, a few huge houses, and there's one again just on the corner that's got a bit of history behind it. I believe someone. Uh, was found hung in there many, many years ago. And that was that one just on the corner. And you see uh, another huge property. Looks like there's a, a bit of work possibly maybe getting done with that one. You see all the windows are all boards up. What a massive property um, that one is. And as we uh, pan the camera around to the uh, right, you see it's like a, a bit of a shell of a, a Land Rover. Look at that one. There we go, like a bit of an old shell just over in the front garden. That's a, an unusual one, that one. Look at that. And then there's, a, there's this property, which is just on the corner again. They're all on the corners, these, I'm seeing today. And this one's had a complete rip out. Let's just move around to the, uh, to the front. 
yeah, this has had a complete rip out. And uh, not sure what the uh, the planning application was for this, if it's going to be uh, just a house or you know, it's going to remain as like a, a hotel or, or possibly even into flats. But yeah, this one has been going on for uh, several months and uh, it looks a bit looks a bit swish now, this one. So this is just uh, opposite Cavendish Road. And you see the uh, the tide is all half in, half out. And uh, it's really, really windy up here. You probably hear the wind through the mic. But yeah, this is, uh, like I said, in sort of Bisbon. You see all the uh, the boards from the illuminations, the back of them. And they certainly uh, stand up to the uh, the strong winds. But what an amazing view um, it is up here. Like I said, the wind is uh, really, really strong. So I'm going to drop down a level and uh, yeah, we'll sort of head a bit towards the, uh, the town centre, but the views are spectacular. So we just dropped down uh, basically the, the, the least level, shall I say, next to the sea. And you can see, uh, I don't know if anyone's ever noticed these, but you see these little, little holes. Um, there we go. You see there's a they go all along look at that and they're drainage holes so if the sea level does you know really rise um, right above here it can drain quickly back into the sea and uh, yeah it's just little things you don't really realize but you see the uh, the sea defenses look at this look at all these huge huge rocks and this all prevents the uh, the sea and the uh, the collapse as well i'd imagine of the uh, the bank so uh they certainly covered the uh, sea defenses on this one we'll just have a a quick look over at the uh, the sea like i said you see those are uh, the blue sky and those lovely clouds look at that and uh, you see the uh, the dogs allowed back on the beach now you see that lady there with a, like a, a little chihuahua just enjoying a bit of a bit of a walk and a bit of a stretch. This one's quite an interesting one. So we're near the, uh, the little racetrack and you can see there's like a, a little door uh, which looks like it's been locked for uh, for many years. But you can see, you know, you can, once over, you could walk all along through there. You can see the little, uh, little passageway. That would have been amazing, you know, so walking along there and just having a look out to see, especially when the uh, the season, that would have been uh, amazing. So this is just in the uh, opposite direction, sort of uh, heading towards sort of Fleetwood and Cleveland. You can see how uh, sort of murky and very, very dark blue the sky looks over there compared to uh, when we're heading in towards Blackpool. So uh, the question is, you know, are we in for a, a drop of rain? So we're just near the, uh, the go-kart track. You can see the, uh, the go-karts. Looks like they're all ready to go. So whether these are like a... So a bit of a, a private hire. We see the uh, the helmets, and this is the uh, the track just near Bisbon. You can see it's all it's quite a large track. It all goes right round. Look at that one. So you can certainly get your uh, your money's worth from uh, from this track. Look at that. Just arrived in uh, Blackpool after a, a bit of a, a heaval because the wind is really, really strong today. So it's gale force winds. You see that seagull there? Look at that hovering. That's how uh, strong the winds are. They're using the wind uh, to hover. And it is a strong one. You see the signs are blown down. 
look at this so we could be in for a, a bit of a battering later on but there's a couple of containers which have appeared um, on the uh, on the front and the question is what's inside them now I think it's the uh, it's the monsters uh, I'll put the link in the description because each year the uh, the hide the monsters on the tower and that is only in like in a less than a couple of weeks so the question is you know is the monsters hiding in those containers look at that just appeared out of nowhere and there's now two of them so I reckon there's a uh, monsters gonna be unleashed in Blackpool very very soon and uh, Right, so I'll pop the uh, link in the description because that's a fantastic one. They're on the Winter Gardens, the uh, Blackpool Tower, all sorts. And looks like there's a, a bit of a wedding being going on at the, uh, the wedding chapel. You see the uh, fantastic is that a Bentley. Looks like a, but yeah, I think that's a, that's a Bentley. Look at that one. So yeah, it looks like uh, you know, cracking the old champagne open. How about that? There we go, just wait for him to, uh, to crack it open. And uh, what, a, what a special day for somebody. Is he going to crack? Oh, he's cracking it open inside. There we go. So as we move uh, more forward uh, onto the comedy carpet and past the comedy carpet, and uh, you can see they have the lollipop. That's the, uh, the single lollipop. You can see all the chairs there. Look, they've blown down. Look at that. Seat covers have gone and the chairs have gone. This is how windy it is in Blackpool today. Look at this one. Wow, you see they've got all the uh, all covered up the uh, the other ones. But you can uh, you see the old uh, you see the old lollipop, look at that swaying in the wind, and that's the uh, the single one by itself, and then we got the uh, the three over there. Yeah, it's a, it's a very, very windy, windy day in Blackpool. So there's Blackpool Town. See how uh, it's all greyish it looks, just surrounding it with the sky. But yeah, the, uh, the monsters appear on top, so they all appear just over there. And that's, I think that's about the 23rd or 25th, but I'll double check and I'll probably in the description because that's a fantastic uh, attraction. Uh, so I reckon that's what's lurking in those containers. I might be wrong, but I think I've got my suspicions. I've got my suspicions. So you just see how, uh, sort of how busy Blackpool Tower is. Look at that. There's a, a lot of people queuing up, waiting outside to, uh, to get in there. Cause that's a great attraction, especially on a, a day like this. It's, uh, it's not the best. And uh, it just looks so overcast and, and like I said, murky. So I think we might in, be in for a, a bit of a storm. See the uh, horse and carriages waiting uh, to grab the ride. Take somebody on there or a family on a bit of an adventure around Blackpool. And you can see the, uh, the donkeys there. Uh, on the uh, on the beach, just trying to hide the mics. I think it might be picking a bit of the uh, wind up. But yeah, let's just pan the camera and see how it looks a bit not too bad. But when you move the camera round to the right, let's just go right round. You can see how black, how black it looks over there. Look at that. And it's uh, it's going to absolutely throw it down. I think you can see it looks black and I can feel the rain already. So uh, just going to move on. We probably have a, a walk through the old spindles. Let's have a walk through the spindles. Because I think we're going to be closing this video up quite soon. Because it's already starting to, uh, to throw it down. So yeah, let's, uh, let's have a walk through, through these. So if you haven't been to Blackpool and you always fancy having a walk, let's have a walk together through, these, uh, through the spindles. And all these light up magnificent at night. So there you go. If you haven't been and you'd like to go through them, we're having a walk together through them. And like I said, just imagine at night when all these light up with the dazzling colours. It's, uh, it's something else. 
then we've got the, like a, a dome, a couple of dome-shaped ones. And again, all these light up, which is, a, which is spectacular. Look at that. So let's have a, a bit of a look at this. Because normally this is a very popular a little space for everybody to get on the beach. And you can see today, all that's on there is a, a couple of people and, uh, and the donkeys. I think the donkeys are probably going to call it a day very soon because it is very, very windy. And there's a storm more or less approaching right now. And that's the other lollipops. You can see the swaying, they're sort of like 45 degrees again. Look at that, and the camera's shaking. So look at that sky. Look how uninviting that one looks. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna head on back because like I said, unfortunately, I haven't got the car. So I think we're gonna probably sort of close this video out very very soon because it looks horrible you see the horses are doing a bit of a, a 360 in the road there and uh, once like they've gone for a fantastic little ride those people the Blackpool is still quite busy like I said despite the storm lurking you know just around the corner you know Blackpool is, is quite busy for uh, you know sort of a, a Saturday uh, obviously it's not heaving, but you know there's a lot of people still venturing out and we see that that's another great one the the spyglass and you see the tower uh, straight behind it so yeah keep an eye out for those monsters that'll be a, a fantastic one that's what i reckon is in those containers like I, said, I could be totally wrong but i've got my sneaky suspicions they're uh, lurking um, in the uh, in the darkness of those so i think let's have a, a bit of a walk through the uh, the town center because like i said this looks uh even looks busy um and like i said when it's uh it's, it's really starting to to come down now the rain you can feel it so uh, i think everyone's going to be diving into hounds hill the shops uh, and just taking shelter because i think it's possibly in for the day So yeah, I think I'll, uh, I'll probably call it a day very soon. You see the cleaners are out. They're out 24 seven, but you can see it's town. It still looks quite busy. Look at that. You see, uh, they do a fantastic job, the cleaners, you know, all weathers, all conditions, and uh, they are out. But yeah, this is uh, Blackpool Town. Like I said, no, don't normally do the, uh, the town centre. Normally, I sort of keep on the prom and, you know, around those areas and different things. But I don't normally venture into town. There's always something going on, even if it's in town, a little stall or something. You see someone's playing the old banjo uh, just in the, uh, on the right-hand side. Look at that. There's a little shop there, it's called the, uh, the Frigid Corner. And they do all sorts of little goodies in there, you can pick some little bargains up. Mm. Especially, you know, Christmas is around the corner. You see people taking their snapshots of the, uh, the tower. So yeah, they do all sorts of little uh, goodies in their little Frigid shop. So I'll just walk in a little bit further um, towards uh, the sort of the town hall and things. You see all these little shops as well, you know, Subway, traditional fish and chips. All these uh, come alive. You got the old, uh, old revolution, so that's now gone. So I'd imagine they'll be uh, taking that sign down because it's the, uh, the Coyote Ugly Bar. And you see, this is on the other side. So we've seen it from the, uh, the front. This is uh, from the other side. And you see the, uh, the old revolution sign. Uh, which is just there, so that will be uh, gone as well and replaced. I watch you. 
so I think we're going to head back onto the promenade and uh, yeah just have a, a quick look at the, uh, the sea because I think we're in for a, uh, a rough one and uh, it just like I said, it just looks so murky and black the wind is really getting up and uh, a shout out to Steve who I just bumped into so he's a, a follower of the channel I uh, just met him so it was fantastic meeting meeting a follower so all the best to uh, to Steve so let's just cross over the, uh, the zebra crossings and uh, yeah back at the uh, those mystery containers because I think that is something to do with the uh, the monsters let's just have a bit of a, a closer look can't really see anything inside them but it's like they've got cameras and, and whatever on there but yeah the uh, the mystery containers uh, in Blackpool so thank you for uh, for watching uh like i said i think i'm gonna head back because just look at it it looks horrible and the wind is getting up the rain is getting up and i haven't got a car so i'm gonna uh, close the video out until next time if you haven't hit the subscribe button hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel big shout out to steve thank you for watching and take care of yourselves and it's a bye from me bye bye